Hello everyone. So today there was a question on the community about uh, setting some fields in Jira, but based on of course uh, some other fields, which is something that can be done. But the question is interesting because uh, some people might get confused when they are trying to set some fields. So the question is that, let us say if the component is A, then uh, then then let us say some other field uh, will be set to um, a specific value. Now in this question, uh, the question is about a component and reporter. So I'm not really sure if this makes sense, but uh, I thought, okay, I'll talk about it because what uh, this user is trying to refer here is uh, JSON. So what, uh, we have in a rule. So let us say you, you try to create a new rule. Let us say there is a re new rule that you want to manually trigger. And when you add a new trigger, or not a trigger, but an action, you have this the option to specify what you want to modify or what you want to do. For example, if you want to edit the issue, you can, you can do that. But when you do this, you have uh, the option to select here uh, the fields. And by the way, um, you can select uh, different fields here based on your requirement, but uh, uh, I'll probably select here uh, maybe, let me select budget, right? Why not? So when you when you set the fields here, you can use uh, the option straight away, or you can also look at more options. And when you look at more options, you have the option to use here JSON, because earlier not all the fields were available in the drop down. But but I believe now we have a lot of fields that we can use. But you can also use JSON here to specify the field that you want to update. Of course, in the right format and, and the format. I think I mentioned it earlier. You need to use. Uh, uh, you basically need to in this form. I mean, you can use smart values, and uh, the format is of course JSON. But uh, if you if you're not really sure the format of the JSON, you can always look at Jira REST API and try to see how that particular field is stored in a JSON format. Uh, when you try to retrieve that same issue using REST API, and uh, you will get an idea about the format which you can use here. And uh, the thing about JSON is that you can't really although you can use smart values to replace something, but I'm not really sure you can uh, do some uh, uh, like conditional logic. I don't really think you can have if and else because it is nothing but uh, a JSON. Uh, there, because we can have uh, smart values. And if you look at uh, the examples here, you can definitely use smart values and you can do like some replacement. But I am not really sure if there is a way to uh, conditionally replace certain elements of the JSON. Um, and uh, I thought I'll talk about it because many people want to, they may want to do something similar. Let me just try to search for, no, there, there is nothing. I mean, it does, uh, there might be, I mean, you might think, okay, if uh, you're trying to update a value, then maybe this particular part of the JSON can be dynamically changed. But I don't really think uh, this is a possibility right now. I, I think what you can do is, you can definitely make sure that the rule itself, when you're trying to uh, do these changes conditionally. Just make sure in the rule you have the conditions and only do those things for that particular condition. So manage it using the rule, not really in the JSON or use another method to be honest. But I think uh, it can be done. So you just need to add a check here on top. And if this particular, uh, I mean, if, you, if you're using if and else, then yeah, why not? You can, you can do something similar conditionally, I guess, but not really in one go in uh, the JSON itself, because JSON is a file format, it's a standard, you, you don't really have the option to have logic in it, just like CSS. Alright, that is it. That is it for today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.